welcome, welcome to my kitchen. It's another episode of our cooking program and I'm excited to be in your homes tonight. I trust you're all doing well by God's grace. Yes, I'm doing very well and um, we are here today to take you through the preparation of another healthy diet that will change your life and help you stay healthy. But I went searching for a healthy herbs, you know, to help us in seasoning our food. And I came across this herbs called Nutrifier. It comes in various um, types. We have the chicken herbs, we have the fish herbs, we have the complete herbs that has all the herbs in there. We also have Kelewele, in fact, this is my favorite. Kelewele seasoning, good for Kelewele and Kaklu. We also have um, Kerry Mix and Almighty Dawa Dawa. You know what? This has no preservatives, no additives, and good for vegans as well. Please, when next you go shopping, look for Nutrifier. If you need more to sell in your shops, please take this number down and call us and we'll be glad to deliver them to you. And you know who did this? Stay tuned. Hello viewers. My name is Sofia Namoko Dumako. I'm married with three children. I hold two advanced cookery certificates and an HND in hospitality and catering management from the whole technical university. I also hold a bachelor's degree in human resource management from GIMPA. I have expertise in cooking, hospitality management, events organization, among others. Currently, I'm the catering manager for Tema International School and also a culinary tutor. My love for nutrition drove me to make homemade spices from various seeds and herbs for domestic and commercial cooking. My philosophy about diet is simple. Every bite of food you take does two things. It's either fighting or feeding disease. I hope you enjoy the program and learn a few useful culinary skills. Thank you. Welcome back. So, my table is so colorful today. And to do justice with all the ingredients on this table is ever beautiful now. <laughs> with that beautiful smile. Thank you. Thank you for coming once more. Thank you for the but opportunity. We are grateful. So I see um, potatoes, chicken, assorted bell pepper, onion, eggs. What are we doing today? Okay, so today we are making potato chicken pie. Hmm. It's a complete meal. After you've had this, you don't have to eat anything again. It's a complete, it has all the, the carbohydrates, the vegetables, the protein. And we are going to make this with Herbs, so Herbs. very healthy, no artificial seasoning at all. I'm sure today you are going to enjoy our class. Sure, we will enjoy this class. So like I said, we've moved out of the medical room. We are in the classroom. So reach out for your notepads, pen or pencil, and put down um, all the necessary um, tips that now will give us. Please take us through. Okay, so we have um, our potatoes, our Irish potatoes cut, yeah. ready to be boiled. Mm. We have our chicken, we are going to debone the chicken. Mm -hmm. We have assorted vegetables. We have our milled uh, ginger, garlic and pepper, and pepper mm. that we are going to use to season our, our chicken. So 
The first thing I'll do is I'm going to fillet my chicken. I'm going to debone it. Just the like we deboned the fish on last episode. So. Mm -hmm. So, so why do we okay so we don't need the bones right don't need That's the bones, because it's going to be in the pie in a and pie. it will be difficult to chew bones and vegetables <laughs> at the same yes, time yes that's yes. right so are we adding the skin to it no i'll be taking out the, the skin, skin as well so that we are reducing the fat content yes, okay. in the in the chicken all right so you can you can get already filleted um chicken chicken or fish or fish or but you meat. see the secret about the boning, mm -hmm. the tie is that it's, it's tastier than the chicken breast. Oh, yes, I see. Yes, so I prefer to use the tie. It's tastier. It's tastier. But the chicken breast is more expensive. I don't know why. Yeah, and this this you can do this once you learn how to fillet, mm -hmm. you are good to go. And Very you can soon. also use the bone to you do can, other things. You yes. know, add it to your soup. You can add it to your soup. Okay, and you are good to go. Mm -hmm. So yes. if I'm a vegetarian or vegan. And you I can, want to prepare this meal. It means um, you will just do without. You can without. do it the way mm. we are going to do it, mm. but without the chicken. Without the chicken. The same Maybe procedure. Next time we'll have to do something for Some. vegetarians and vegans as well. Very, mm. very important. So. We are almost done deboning. Yeah, we are almost done deboning. Can you sharpen this, Kakra? Yeah, almost. So these are the kind of things you take your kids through <laughs> at school, right? Yes, mm. yes. My students mm. at TIS, TIS. We, we take on some culinary lessons after after yeah. school. We are lucky to have you. Yes. <laughs> I also sometimes engage women in in some churches as well as well yes yes yes, yes. i remember yeah. we had one at prince emmanuel yeah. Church. yes yes yeah. so um any church you know if, if you <laughs> the want now, ministry. <laughs> no you have to come come through me <laughs> and i'll get you now okay okay so, so we are mm, done we are done with the deboning taking off the skin gradually Oh, it's not difficult at all. Not at all. Mm. Done in just a few, few minutes. Okay. So, wait. What can I do to help? Okay. Um, Nothing much. We right. can. Let's see. Ah, uh, water. You can put the water on fire. All right. Then for I'll the potatoes. You. I'll join you soon. Yes. So now I think I can now put in the potato. The water is boiling. Okay. okay. So our chicken is well. So we are going to season our chicken. We are going to add our milled pepper, onion, garlic, and ginger. We add a bit of salt. We're going to add chicken herbs. Our chicken herbs. It also contains paprika. We are going to add a uh, curry. We all know that curry and chicken always go together. This is specially made from turmeric, mustard seeds, Paprika, coriander seeds, and sunflower seeds. Very healthy. So we add that. And then we complete it with our complete herbs. Which has more than seven herbs put together. We stir. All together. all together 
and then we we leave it for a few minutes um maximum 15 minutes it's it's fine to so get all your seasoning you can also do it overnight if you want to but for the purposes of our learnings and i've observed that anytime you use herbs to season your food it the taste is good and it doesn't take time to penetrate into the food so we put this aside okay so we are preheating our oven the, the temperature is 350 degrees we want to make sure that the oven has good temperature before we put in the potato pie. I want to teach you how to drain your potatoes. You first of all pour it into the drain and then you open the water. You pour cold water on it so that you stop the cooking. The cold water will stop the cooking because if you don't do that, the potato will overcook and become too soft. All right, so our potato is cooked ready to be mashed mm -hmm. and i love what you taught us you know when we should drain it and then add cold water yes. to stop the cooking yes you can do that for vegetables as well really when it anytime you you steam your vegetables mm. and you drain mm. you have to stop the cooking okay. by pouring cold, cold water, water on it otherwise it will keep on cooking and you lose all the nutrients Trains. when you are ready to eat wow even your your pasta dishes as well, as well you have yeah. to always you know, so it's important to do it under running water. Under running water. Under running water. I see. And I see um, butter. Unsalted butter. Unsalted. Unsalted butter. And eggs. Yes. You are going to put all these together. Yes, please. All right. Okay, all right, so. so we are going to mash our potatoes. Mm. We will add our butter. So I'm not doing much. A scoop, a scoop of butter. It's going it's to cook. yes. Cook too. So this because is I want it to about be three or four sevens. Yes, this okay. is about three or four, four sevens. sevens. Careful with the salt. salt. Okay. And then I'm going to add herbs. I'm going to add yes. Herbs. I'm going to add some the complete herbs. The complete herbs. Okay. Just like half teaspoon or one yes. teaspoon. Yes. So two of these. Yes. Is enough. Yeah. Good. To four be. sevens. Yes. Mm. So we are mashing. Whoa. So beautiful. <laughs> we are mashing. Hmm. Can okay. I use my hand if, if I don't have no, this mash? You will not you will not be able to get it well. Can I blend it it too? Can I blend it? No. No. You have to mash it. You have to mash it. Can I use tapoli? Tapoli, <laughs> you can you use can. the tapoli, but yeah. you have to be careful. It doesn't become like fufu. fufu okay. You have to do it gently. Okay. Okay. Gentle press. All right. So just in case you don't have a masha at home, at home. <laughs> you, can. you can try tapoli. Yes, you can what, try what's the English name? Uh, <laughs> really? I haven't. Please look for it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it has come out very beautiful, yes. very smooth too. Yes, very smooth. But may I ask if I don't, can you use any other butter, say coconut butter, almond butter? Yes. You can? Yes, you can. Okay, so yes, you if can. you're not comfortable with this kind of butter and yes. you want plant-based butter, butter, you can get you that. You can get that one also. Very nicely soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we don't want to lose the moisture, so okay. we are going to cover it nicely. Oh, really? It's going to sit for a while? Yes, whilst we prepare the chicken and the vegetables and then we come back to it so we'll cover it so it's going to sit for how long so just once we are done with the vegetables and the chicken we'll come back to it all right so we are here all right so our mashed potato is done sitting for a while now we are going to take you through the chicken saute. I know what I'm yes, saying. the chicken saute with vegetables. The chicken saute with vegetables. I'm going to take you through that. Okay, Antina, please take over. <laughs> okay, so All right. we are going to add a bit of oil. Just a little oil. 
we add our onions and this quantity is fine we can add the carrots as well because we know that carrots are a bit hard so to soften them a bit we add on Just cook them together. And our chicken is seasoned, so we can add the chicken. We're going to add the chicken. So the chicken will cook with the carrots and the and the onions. I'll cover it for a few minutes. Just, just cover it for a few minutes. Okay. okay, so we are not going to completely cook our chicken because we are going to finish our potato pie in the oven. So it's half cooked. And then I'm going to add on the other vegetables. So I'll add on my cabbage. I have two types of cabbage. I have the red cabbage and then the now everyday white cabbage. We we'll add our pepper. There we go. We we'll stir that all together. All together. not to overcook them because they are going to go into the oven. So just to cook it halfway. All right, so welcome back from that short break. So as you can see, our chicken, vegetable, stir fry. Yes. Is ready. Yeah. Hmm. How I wish I know how to do these things. <laughs> but I'm glad you are here. I'm learning and I trust you are learning too. So, okay, what next? Um, okay, so after we have sauteed, mm -hmm. we are going to add eggs. And let me explain why we are adding the egg. Okay. The egg is going to serve as a binding agent, mm. it's going to hold everything Get together. together. Okay. so that water will not ooze out when the pie is ready oh, yes okay. so i'll break one egg so in a uh, in place of eggs what else can you use in, in place of eggs mm. you can you can use corn flour corn flour you can All use right. corn flour just anything to hold it together all right so if you're allergic to eggs or you're yeah. vegetarian or vegan yes. and you yes. don't want to use eggs, eggs the yeah. alternative is corn flour yes or you can use breadcrumbs. Okay. Breadcrumbs okay. can also hold so, yeah. hold it together for you. Mm -hmm. So with this, we are using just one egg. Yes, I'm just using just okay. one egg. So mm -hmm. you can use the white if you want to drop down your protein okay. content. You mm -hmm. can use just the white. Mm -hmm. It's just to hold it together. Yeah, that is okay. the reason why. So we pour into our dish. Very colorful. We pour into our dish, then we make space for the potatoes. Oh, okay, can I open it now? Yes. So, we are going to pour our potato on top. Seriously, I thought we were going to mix it. No. <laughs> The I would have mixed it for you. It's going on top. Mm. It's going on top. So we so you spread evenly. Mm. You try and spread evenly. Mm. So 
Already, I'm going to. Okay, so we are done. Hmm. I just want to do Design. this. Yes, the top, so that it will heat will penetrate easily. Oh, okay. I yes. thought it's just a design. Heat will penetrate easily. It also serves as, as a design. A design mm. for presentation purposes. Mm. So how long will it be in the oven? Ten minutes is fine. We are oh, just okay. go going to cook it just for ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yes. Okay. So I saw you break an egg. What are you yes, doing? Yes, we are going to egg wash before we put in the oven. I see. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we are egg washing the top so that when it's ready, we'll have a slightly brown top that will make it look attractive. So, we're done. We are going to put it into the oven for just 10 minutes. There we go. There we go. I think uh, 10 minutes is up and we are good to go. Ooh, this. Everything is ready now. Our uh, potato pie is ready. You have no idea the aroma in here. And I tell you, I can't wait hmm, to take a bite of it. Nah. Oh, Bomodi. We ate it. We can't cry. Did I get it right? Oh, you did. Bomodi. You did. Wow. You got it right. That's so nice. Okay. All right. So, um, we just let's, for it. let's mm. see what we got here. Mm hmm. So we are cutting through, right? Yes, we are cutting through. Okay. Just... That big one is for me. <laughs> Great. Okay, 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 okay. I want to make sure that you get a grab of everything. everything. Can you bring the plate closer? Yeah. I think okay. next time we just have to wait for it to be <laughs> cold. Yes, before we cut. Yeah. So I'm just taking a little bite. A little? Yes. Okay. I'm always around food, so... I'm going to <laughs> try this myself. Yes, you I'll have to. My you have to. With it. You have to. And I'm sure Ooh. viewers will also give oh, it a try. Oh, they will, they will. My viewers are very good at that. <laughs> they, they'll, they'll, they'll try it. Yeah, so you try it and give us give the feedback. To give us feedback, mm -hmm. yes. Hmm. Yummy, yummy. Yes, we are good to go. <laughs> All right, so moments it's, of truth. So I'm going to yes. taste it and then... It's soft and... Can we feed this? Can we feed our toddlers with this? Yes, you can. Mm. You can, but maybe with them you can cut the vegetables a bit smaller mm -hmm. than, than it is. This is good. This is good. Hmm. Can I have this as dinner? Yes. Or it will be too heavy? It's okay. It depends on the time you eat it. <laughs> if you can eat by 4 p.m. or 5 p.m., I think mm. you are good to go. Mm. And I forgot to mention that you can use yam. Mm. Yes, if you are not having the, you, you don't have the potatoes, you can mm. use yam as well. Maybe you can try plantain too. Maybe it will work. Yeah, plantain can also work. Once it's you are able to mash it and then you... Because mm. plantains contain a lot of iron, iron which yeah. is very healthy for us. So I think mm. somebody should try it yeah. with a plantain and give yeah, it I the I think we, we can even use cassava as well. Any, any root vegetable so can be can used. Do it it doesn't okay. have to be potato all the time. I see. All too soon, we've come to the end of today's episode. As usual, it's been educative, informative and interesting. So until we come your way next Saturday at 7.30 on Hope Channel, this is welcome to my kitchen. And please, try these recipes at home. Give us a feedback. And don't forget when you go shopping, 
look out for nitrified seasoning or herbs. Take care. Bye. Bye.